Hey guys, I'm Helen. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna consider two types of means that are frequently used to express future actions. They are the going to structure and the present continuous tense, which generally serve to denote an action happening at the time of speaking, but also it can serve to refer an action to the future. So today we're going to be looking at the second use of a present continuous compared to the going to structure. First of all, I should tell you that both the going to structure and the present continuous are used for intentions and plans, sometimes interchangeably. Both of them can be used for immediate or distant future actions. But there is still a difference between them and I'm going to make it clear when to use what. So, let's get started. We use the present continuous when the speaker is sure that the action will take place. This means there are some conditions that make the speaker certain that the action will happen. So, what are these conditions? Number one, we use the present continuous rather than the going to structure if the action has been arranged. For example, I am leaving for London tomorrow. This has been arranged in the sense that I've got my visa and the plane ticket. So, this future action is settled. Therefore, we use the present continuous here. If the action has been arranged, there is usually a specific date or time for that. Tonight in Harrisville, she's marrying a man she doesn't love. Another example. A pregnant woman late in her pregnancy meets a friend who asks her, when are you having your baby? Here also, the present continuous sounds more natural, as there is a due date for the happy event of giving birth to a child, as well as certainty that the baby will be born anyway. And one more example. Imagine you are in a restaurant with a friend of yours. Suppose her name is Sarah. So Sarah has ordered lots of food. And then the waiter asks for your choice. And you don't seem to be very hungry and say, I'm just gonna have the Caesar salad. Please note that we use going to to express our intention to have the salad. It's what I want. And then Sarah is very surprised and she wonders, is that all you're having? This time we use the present continuous as the future action has been arranged. You've made a choice, you've ordered the salad and the waiter has received the order. That's why we use the present continuous here. Number two, we use the present continuous if a plan involves two or more people who have agreed to do something, say to meet. For example, I'm meeting Alex at the airport tomorrow morning. This means Alex is aware of the plan because we have agreed to meet at the airport. So this makes the speaker certain that the future action will happen. Now let's take a look at this curious dialogue. We're alone the whole weekend. What are we going to do first? Uh, we're not doing anything. When the younger brother asks about what they're going to do, nothing is arranged yet. He's just trying to know what the other boy wants to do. When the elder brother replies that they aren't doing anything and it's evident that it's up to him to make the final decision, we know everything is agreed and settled now. They aren't doing anything at the weekend. Their plans are arranged now. 3. As I've mentioned before, both the going to structure and the present continuous can be used for intentions. But we opt for the present continuous to express firmer intentions. When we want to show that we've made a definite decision to do something. A classic example here can be an expression you'll often hear in the movies. I'm calling the police. So, the use of the present continuous here can be explained by the determination of the speaker to perform the action, that is to call the police. Moreover, this choice in favor of the present continuous shows that the speaker is emotionally involved in the situation and thinks his actions may change it for the better. 
Guys, a nut bag. I'm calling the police. We can see that the girl is emotionally involved in the current situation. She is sure that making this phone call is urgent and may somehow influence the unwanted situation they are facing at the moment. So she is determined to call the police and we can see that she has already started heading towards the phone. That's why the present continuous is preferable here. And one more example. I'm not giving you my goddamn briefcase. In this example, the man also expresses his strong determination not to give his briefcase to gangsters who want to take it from him. Apart from the emotional involvement of the speaker, this meaning of the present continuous seeks to accomplish a communicative target. That is to make the gangsters change their course of actions. That's why the present continuous is used in cases like this. Look buddy, I don't know what's going on, but I'm getting out of here. Let's summarize. The going to structure is meant to express our intentions or our plans. It's what we had decided to do before we said this. Yet we should keep in mind that when we use the going to structure, the actions may not happen. Sometimes our plans change, you know. On the other hand, we use the present continuous when we are 99% sure that the action will happen. And there is a reason for that either because we have arranged it before or we are strongly determined to perform the action as we may be emotionally involved in the situation and sure that our actions are relevant or we seek to accomplish a communicative target for example to inform our interlocutors of our determination in conclusion i'd like to mention that Unlike the present continuous tense, the going to structure has one more important meaning. It is used to make predictions. This is what my next video is going to be about. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. See you soon. Bye bye.